Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. That's one of those giant clams. Can I poke it? Does it do anything? Does it have a pearl in there? I don't think it does. Alright, so we're apparently... Whoa. Wait. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with a brand new update. Now you're probably asking yourself, Komodo, why do you have a diving suit on? Well, we have a brand new underwater update. So what this update does, it adds four new missions and I believe seven new underwater locations. Now, what those locations are, I don't know. They might simply be rocks, uh, they might be sunken ships, they might be something else. So we're gonna be checking out some of these missions, we're gonna be checking out some subs, and overall we're just gonna have a good old time here. So all the uh, creations are linked down in the description if you wanna play with any of the creations you see in today's episode. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button Button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. Ah, it feels like we finally have a little bit more purpose for subs. Not that there wasn't purpose in the first place, but finally having some missions that are actually for the subs, uh, that feels pretty good. So, anyways, we're in the, I believe this is called the Sturgeon Class Sub. It's got a storage compartment in the back. Uh, you can dock this thing. Actually, check this out. We can click this here. Boom, there's a storage. So, if we need to attach anything, I believe there's tow hooks on that. Uh, there's water cannons. This is a mission sub. Like, you're going to be able to use this for pretty much anything, I think. I don't know. There might still be some challenges that we can't get. But anyways, let's go ahead and climb down in it. Oh, it is leaning with those doors. You okay there, sub? Uh-oh, did it jam? Okay, no, it's good. All right, so let's go ahead and open the hatch here. Uh, I believe this is a... Is there a drain here? I see drains. Okay, so... Just in case we need to get out, of course we got our diving suit on, or underwater diving bell suit, I don't know. I actually don't know much about diving, so we've got that, so we're going to be able to get out underwater if we need to. Alright, so we're in here, looks like you can see your storage compartment back there. We really need to do some multiplayer episodes with subs, maybe we'll do a couple of the missions in multiplayer next. A uh, whole buttload of uh, logic up here, uh, you got lights under here, got a little living area, there's a little dining area, okay. Ah, this is what I was looking for. All right, so let's get this sub uh, prepared to go here. Let's go ahead and turn on lights, dashes. Uh, actually, let's go with the white light. Let's go externals. I don't know why that closed again. There we go. Blinking yellow, silent lights. Uh, that looks pretty good there. All right, what do we have over here? This is your depth. Uh, looks like somebody control this. Actually, it's it got a sonar on it. Okay, there's cargo bay doors. Just got to learn some of the controls real quick. All right, so everything seems to be good to go here, so... Should be able to set that off. There we go. Turn that back on. All right, so we are moving. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what are the missions? So let's go ahead and go to the missions here. Uh, we're going to spawn in one. So I think the missions, there's four of them. The ones that I found so far, I know the research center has the retrieve the sunk research drone, which I believe that's one. And then there's a deliver a seismic sensor, which I believe is another one, which is like a little sensor that you would set on the bottom of the ocean floor that can detect uh, earthquakes, I guess for maybe an early warning for tsunamis. And then you have the rescue the research submariner, which is one. Now, there is one more. I believe it's going to be the claim oil uh, company. They have install a well sensor module, so you'll probably go to the rig out there and go down to the bottom, which I don't recall that having detail down there, so we might have to check that out. But first, let's go ahead and get a rescue mission. So we're going to go rescue the submariner. Let's go ahead and spawn that, and let's highlight it here. All right, so how far is this dude stuck? Oh, geez. Oh, he's pretty far out there. All right, so that's probably the hospital island, which we're probably passing by right now. All right, let's go ahead and turn to the heading that we need to be. Uh, we're going to go down there. Now, admittedly, it's going to be a little hard to see. I do have some spotlights in the front, uh, but hopefully we'll see some new things underwater. Uh, but first, let's go ahead. Let's crank that throttle up. We're going to not dive yet. Uh, it's really shallow here. And I want to get moving because, what do we got, 9.6 kilometers to go to get to the uh, the down sub. So, we got a sub rescue mission. We're going to get to that. We'll dive down. We'll check out the uh, underwater and we'll get this guy. 
All right, we're currently cruising at about 39 knots. Uh, I think we are probably deep enough. This is actually really neat looking. Hold on, can we get up and walk around? Oh, dude, that's so cool. Uh, yeah, I don't see the bottom of the ocean. I just saw, a, like, a fish just zoom by. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to dive now. I think you can really get in detail with how you want to go down, but there is a pretty simple control scheme, say, for people like me. Uh, I can just sit there and hit down on the arrow keys, and it'll start to submerge, and then we can go with the W here, and there it goes. And diving. So is it going to scrub off some speed here? Uh, yeah, we're at about 36 knots now. Of course, I guess there's a lot more resistance here with the water, and... Oh, uh, watch out, fish! Watch out! Oh, I think we just hit a fish. Yeah, like I said, it's a little hard to see. Wow, this is really deep. Hold on, let's keep going down. Uh, let's keep going, go, go. I'm looking for the sea floor. Let's go ahead and put the uh, spotlight a little down real quick. That way we can try to spot the sea floor. There it is. Okay, so we need to go down a little bit further. Uh, hopefully it's pretty even. Oh, that's a huge rock. Uh, okay. Ooh, what the heck? All right, it got really shallow all of a sudden. We buy a, uh, we buy some sort of island? I don't see one on the map, huh? Oh, oh that is a very aggressive surfacing there. Yeah, it got pretty shallow. We're near the, uh, the lighthouse island, so I didn't quite see. I think I saw a couple rock formations that I don't notice. Uh, there really wasn't that many to begin with in the game, so... Uh, we're gonna need to stay surfaced here for a bit. Yeah, you can see it's really shallow here. All right, we still got, what, five kilometers to go? Kind of curious how deep this uh, sub's going to be sunk. All right, we're starting to come up on our location. We're going to go and start backing off throttle here. We're about 600 meters out. Let's kill it some more. All right, 500. All right, let's start scanning for the submarine. It got really deep again. Uh, start to go down. So I'm assuming we don't have to retrieve the sub. We just got to get the uh, the submariner that's in there. Hopefully, they've got a diving helmet on, because uh, we might be exiting underwater here. What are we, about 200 and... almost 300 meters away. Oh, what is this? There's something huge up in front of us here. Okay, I see a big rock, but I think it's... Yeah, I can see the outline of it. Hold on, let's go over to the right a bit. Uh, there's something down below us and on the bottom. Hon, what is that? It looks like a coral reef or something, Han. Wait, what are we in front of right now? Han, start backing it up a bit. Let's go ahead and raise our spotlight. Alright, let's go a little to the right here. Okay. Uh, this is a big rock. Okay, so we got that. I kind of want to point this towards the reef. You know, we might actually get out here. Uh, it's about to get a little spooky. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to lower this thing to the sea floor. And we're going to kill the throttle. All right, set that down. All right, I think we're stabilized to the bottom. All right, we're going to go exploring. I know we were supposed to rescue the dude, which we're right there with him. Uh, but I do actually want to go see some of this new stuff. So... Uh... Probably should have brought a little bit smaller sub if we wanted to do this. Let's see, docking magnet. All right, got our tanks on. Let's get our flashlight on. Let's release, let the water in. Okay, there we go. All right, ooh, buddy. All right, so we are on the top here. Does this thing have any spotlights on the side? I don't think it does. Ah, uh, look at this. All right, so we're definitely at a new location here. Is that a clam? That's one of those giant clams. Can I poke it? Does it do anything? Does it have a pearl in there? I don't think it does. All right, so we're apparently... Whoa. Wait. This is, uh... That's man-made. Because you can see the, the little stones there, or the brick pieces there. What was this? All right, this is pretty cool. All right, we need to do a little exploring here. This is definitely some sort of underwater location. What did we find, though? There's walls, okay, that's cool. And there's a, there's a big raised up position up here. Ooh, if they had some caves down here, that would be really awesome. Hopefully you guys can see someone. I know it's a little dark down here, uh, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is like a big, almost like a mountain under here. 
Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm looking for any openings. Any more stone wall pieces on something's over here. Whoa, what is this over here? Man, if they had like some sort of shipwrecks, that would be very, very awesome. Alright, so obviously we found signs of a city under here. Would it be like Atlantis or something? Like, I don't know what they're pointing at. Why would you have structures underwater like this? Uh, especially in the middle of the ocean. It's not like it was close to the surface. And is that our sub? Yes, it is. Alright, let's go rescue our dude here. Uh, that is extremely cool, though. Now I kind of just want to go about the ocean floor and just explore the whole time and try to find what all you have under here. Alright, submariner dude, please tell me you have a helmet on. Uh, no. What the heck? Did you want me to dock? I guess I could have docked him. Actually, I don't have a... I don't have a sub that can do that. It's on the bottom like that. Uh, I guess I would should have brought like a little mini rescue sub. Uh, just hold on, dude. I'm still exploring. Almost ready to get you out of there. Tell you what we need to invest in is a little bit higher powered flashlight. I almost want to bring one of the really small subs. I've got one in mind that we can really start to explore with. And I think it also can probably do some extra things like missions. Uh, but yeah, let's go get our diver here. This location interests me. Because obviously we found some broken walls that no way they're natural under here because you can see the stones uh, where they've been engraved or where the stones have been put together so something's down here all right buddy i'm gonna have to do this to you all right let's go and open this i'm gonna let the water in <laughs> i told you you probably should have had your diving stuff on so your thing's broken here i'm just gonna carry you i'm gonna give you like a little life mask or something or are you stuck in the door come on buddy on right, let's let's close this again there we go all right, can I actually carry you underwater? I hope I can. All right, so we got our dude here. Let's go ahead, open this up. Uh, well, I had my dude. All right, come here, my dude. All right, let's go up here. Have you on my back? Yes, I do. I'm the only one that looks prepared for this situation. All right, let's get back to the sub real quick. All right, is there a drain button? That looks like a button that, that's actually, that opens it. Let's see, elevator up and down. Let's put that down. Is there a drain button somewhere? Uh, NPC for exit, oh, enable for easy exit of NPC inside sub, okay, got that. Is it draining it right now? Okay, it is. Slowly draining it, but it is doing it, so we just gotta wait a second before it's gonna let us open this door. Alright, so water is almost completely drained, I'm assuming the door is gonna open up right after it's through. That's a neat feature for this sub. Uh, this sub also, like I said, can be docked, and I would have docked to that sub down below, but... I would have to flip this one, so preferably if I had a sub, I would want another docking system on the bottom of it. So, here we go, what is it at? Six, five, four, three, it looks pretty drained. Two, one, open the hatch. Come on. Oh, let's click it again, there it goes, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, dude, we're gonna go ahead and set you in the back, we'll get you to the hospital island, then I've got some exploring to do. Oh, there you go. Thought you were having some issues there. All right, try to keep yourself warm. Let's uh, get the heck out of here. Oh, you can see in the spotlight just how tall this area was. Uh, that is quite awesome. Hold on, let's go a little more down into the right here. Uh, there's those walls down there. I don't know if there was anything else. I'm going to keep turning here before we actually completely surface. Yeah, there's certain things down here. I'm really, really intrigued. That almost looked like a, a bit of a canyon down here, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's get the heck back to the hospital island. We might have to bring a little bit smaller sub. Alright, here we are, hospital island. So I'm going to drop this dude off here. And then we're going to go grab another sub. I don't know which sub we're going to grab. Maybe something smaller. And we're going to go on a little bit of exploration. I will probably drop by the, uh, the oil rig to show you guys... Uh, what the underwater portion of that looks like. Maybe we'll spawn the mission in. Uh, but here we go. Let's go ahead and back her down. There we go. All right, dude. It is time to go here. Uh, are we capsizing? Yeah, I think those doors kind of play a little bit of havoc with this sub at times. You can see they look like they're jammed, actually. We'll probably need to release those. But yeah, I'm going to go drop this dude off, and then we'll get back to the creative island. All right, so for the second half, let's go ahead and we're going to get into a little mini sub here. I believe this is called the flatbed. This is a awesome mini sub that normally can be attached uh, to a ship by crane, but 
We're just going to launch this thing because I immediately want to go to the underwater locations and see what we can find here. So let's go ahead and crank it up. I think everything is good to go. This is a... Oh, yeah, this has got a docking magnet on the bottom. See, this we could have used for that rescue, and we could have actually docked to the other sub. All right, so we got arms there. All right, I think we're ready to go, so let's go ahead. Let's get moving here. This thing's got a couple spotlights on it, which is really good. It'll help us uh, scout out those new locations. All right, so we're in pretty shallow water right now. We're actually going to head over to the, uh, the oil... Uh, platform and we'll check out what the bottom of it looks like and then we'll start our exploration from there Because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fairly deep in that area and we'll see if we can locate some of the new uh, Underwater locations. I'm hoping to find a cave. I'm hoping really to find like a ship or something underwater uh, I will settle for a city though. I mean we did find some walls. Uh, I doubt there's a full-blown city down there But still that is a uh, pretty awesome to see and it just kind of adds a whole new element of excitement to the game for me. Alright, here we go. This is the bottom of the oil platform. So, they would need a... Actually, do they even have a drill in place? I don't see one. No, this is all at the bottom here. Uh, there's definitely no drill in place. So, as far as I can tell, they have the sensor module on the top. What happens when I fill this? Okay, top hatch will not. It's got a fail safe on it, I believe. Uh, I don't know if we can open this one up underwater. I think this is all done from outside. Okay, so I don't think we can actually fill this. Uh, let's just get really, really close here. There we go. Maybe you guys will look at the equipment down here. So the sensor module goes on the side. Which, let's go around here. How does it attach? Is it a big... Oh, it's a big magnet. Okay, I can see a magnet down there. Actually, what I can do here... Let's go and back up a bit. Okay, let's go into old trusty photo mode here. There you go. That's a look at the equipment. So it looks like the sensor module attaches to this. And then you turn on a key switch, possibly. Yeah, there's not actually a drill running all the way down from the platform. But still, pretty cool looking location down here. Uh, I might have to do this mission one day. Alright, so... Anyways, this is a good place to start to uh, wander around here, and yeah, we're fairly deep. Let's go ahead, let's look at our map. We don't want to head in the direction of islands, so I'm thinking we go northeast here. Alright, so progress update. We've been searching for about 30 minutes. Haven't found anything too out of the ordinary. There's been a couple uh, rock formations that I haven't noticed, but uh, nothing too weird. And Oh, here comes some more rocks. I don't know, I'm hoping to find something. I'm hoping to find a similar formation to where that uh, where we rescued that submariner at. Uh, that would actually be really cool uh, to get to explore that a bit more to see if we see any more of those uh, little walls and stuff. I mean, I guess I could, if I wanted to, I could just sit there and spawn the mission back and go to that location again, but I'm kind of hoping to find it naturally out here in the water. All right, so I've decided to divert back to the uh, the rescue location that we had earlier. Okay, so we can get a better look at all this stuff now. Look at that. Okay, so it's definitely some sort of man-made structure here. Hold on, let's take a better look at it. Let's go into photo mode. Dude, that is pretty crazy, hon. Hide that. All right, there's definitely, there's something else beyond this, so we'll need to continue to check this stuff out. All right, we're on the back side of that rock right now. Hold on, let's get inside. See if we see anything. Still pretty hard to see. Uh, need some more spotlights. Okay, so let's shine down there. Looks like a little opening down there. Uh... Okay, nothing there, Han. It kind of falls off really bad on this side, so let's go over here. And we'll turn the camera, turn the spotlights. Uh, doesn't look like we have anything over here. I'm looking for more of those, uh, more walls and stuff like that. Uh, I think this was right here, I believe, is where that sub was actually down. Uh, keep turning, keep turning. We're going to find something else down here, hopefully. Okay, I do believe we've about come to the end of this area here. Oh, there's one more big rock up ahead of us. Uh, no, nothing in the way. No, it doesn't look like there's any more caves. Actually, is this the same? Did we just circle back around? Is this a new wall? 
No, I believe this is the same wall piece. So yeah, we've completely circled this area. Searching it out. Is there anything on the back side of the wall? I don't know if we actually went through that last time. Hold on, let's turn. Nope, just looks like wall here. Still pretty cool looking. There's the clam. Alright, well that's neat. So I don't know if we've really located all the tiles. I'm pretty sure there's still some secrets around here somewhere uh, that we haven't located, but... Uh, we've been going at it for uh, probably about 45 minutes of searching the bottom of the seafloor. Kind of had to return back to the original location to find anything of worth here as far as uh, maybe some sort of city or something. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is there uh, maybe another city down here somewhere? Is there something that I'm missing? Shipwrecks? Uh, I'm really excited about this, but I think we're going to go ahead... We're really, really deep right now. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Alright, let's go ahead and start to surface here. And we'll uh, wrap this episode up. Oh, there we go. Wow, we truly are in the middle of nowheres right now. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Alright, let's kill that. Turn those off. There we go. And uh, we should be able to... Can we open this right now? There we go. Top hatch. Alright, let's climb out. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. This was actually really fun to do. Uh, kind of cool seeing some new missions. Hopefully the next major update comes out soon. I have no clue what it's going to be, but I'm really excited about that. And hopefully they continue to add stuff underwater. I don't know, there still is probably some sort of secret under there. But yeah, more Sinky Ship Survival returning soon. Some more multiplayer, more missions, creations. There's a couple creations that I want to get around to in a creations episode that look absolutely epic. So uh, we'll have all that coming up soon. Let me know down in the comment section below what you want to see. Thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time on Stormworks.